we're just living in like fear, anxiety, and desperation. Desperation for like some sort of like normalcy, any extra minute or hour of sleep. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. I am a school psychologist and mom. Today I want to talk about my newborn must-haves. Our baby is currently a little less than a month old and we've been going through all of this again. This is our second baby. We put together a short list of things that you should have if you're having a baby to make your life easier or you know some of them are actually very essential. So we will get started. The first thing is to have a couple places to put the baby down. Having some play mats, bouncers, or a swing, or like a, a snuggle me, or a dock -a tot whatever is safe for the baby. Of course, you should be supervising them, or pack and play bassinet, obviously. Um, but any sort of like safe area to put the baby down so you could either run to the bathroom, get food or water. The good thing about newborns is that once you put them down, they can't really move around. They can't roll over. They don't crawl or walk. So kind of like a potato, you just, set them down somewhere safe and then you can go and do something. They might cry or scream, but yeah, it's kind of nice that you don't have to chase them around or like worry that they're gonna like go and hurt themselves. Second thing is a lot of clothes, lots of onesies and sleepers. We like the ones with a zipper, you know, as opposed to like tons of buttons just cause it's easier and they go through so much clothes. You're gonna do a lot of laundry. There's just lots of fluids and like lots of gross stuff happening. So. Just make sure you have a lot on deck. If you are in a place where you drive, like the suburbs or rural areas, they won't let you out of the hospital until you have one. It's an infant car seat, but we found it super cost efficient and convenient to have the travel system. We just have the Graco one. Nothing fancy, but it does a job and we love that it like clicks into different things. So it clicks into the car seat base. The seat also clicks into a stroller and there's other pieces that you can click into place to, you know, lug the baby around. And it's safe and it's nice that you don't have to like take them out of the car seat to put them somewhere else. If they're sleeping, you can just take them out, put them into a stroller, or put them into the car. We also have a ton of blankets um, to swaddle the babies in. It's just easier to carry them that way. Also to keep them warm and cozy. And also during winter, like fall and winter time, you're not supposed to have like thick jackets on them in the car seat. So we'll have like a onesie on, maybe a hat, and then we'll put the blanket on top of them. It's also important to have like something moisturizing for their skin. Their skin is very sensitive, so try to find one without a fragrance. We just use Aquaphor, tried and true. Yeah, Zeke's been using it since he was born. <laughs> and we still have like the huge tub. We also have like the squeeze tube. We'll use it after bath time or, you know, whenever like she scratches her face from her sharp nails. For sleep time, we find having swaddles really helpful. We're still trying to find the one that she likes because she gets very angry when her arms are tied up. So we have the Velcro ones. She's able to bust out of them after like struggling for a little bit. We also have the ones where like the arms are there and then you tuck it in. She likes that one a little bit better. I'm considering maybe trying a couple out where like you like Velcro her arms and then there's another layer outside where you zip up. But like the nice ones are so expensive. So I don't know if I wanna like, I don't know. Is it like an investment piece? Which is crazy. Like I feel like these companies for babies and like pregnant moms, postpartum moms, like they make so much money because we are just, we're just living in like fear, anxiety, and desperation. Desperation for like some sort of like normalcy, any extra minute or hour of sleep. <laughs> I know a lot of people say like, oh, their babies hate being swaddled, but I do find that they get better sleep just because they have that reflex that like it feels like they're falling, I guess. <laughs> and so to prevent that, you know, their arms are like locked in together. And some people say like, oh, that's not good for their development. But I find that they're able to sleep better and you're able to sleep better when they are swaddled. And once they're swaddled, you can put them into their bassinet or pack and play their crib, wherever is safe for them to sleep. Another thing to go with their sleep is a noise machine. We have the hatch. Um, I don't know which ones we have. I'll find it and then link it. We like the hatch. It's a little bit more pricey, but we like it because you can control the sounds and the lights through the app on your phone so you don't have to go into the room or you know bend down to change it but also i love the timer feature like you can set it on a schedule and then forget about it so it's been super helpful for my toddler whenever he has nap time and then 
at night we have like a pretty regimented schedule for his nighttime routine so at like 705 like every day it'll turn on <laughs> And I don't have to worry about it. Like, I don't have to think about, like, turning it on as part of the routine. It's already on. And then in the morning at a specific time, it'll turn off. It also has, like, a ton of different sounds and light colors. It acts as, like, a night light. And, oh, and the new one we have shows the time, too. So that's been helpful when, like, I've been so swollen. I haven't worn my watch. If I don't know where my phone is, I can look at the, the sound machine and it tells me the time. So any kind of sound machine works. You can probably even, like, Play it on your computer or your phone. If you play a white noise machine, like song or sound, and it goes to the next one and there's like a break in between, it could be kind of like jarring or like startling for the baby. While it works, we, we like having like a specific noise or sound machine. And you can get like a cheaper one for sure. There's a lot out there on Amazon and online. We also have a sterilizer, it's right over here. It looks really nice, so I like that it's like a nice looking appliance. It's a little bit pricey. There's a lot of different kinds of sterilizers out there, but it dries our mostly bottles and um, things that go into the baby's mouth. And then it also sterilizes it using like a UV light. So we like that it has like the two tiers, super convenient to like wash everything, throw it all in there. And we use it for like baby toys, bottles. Uh, and then once Zeke was like eating like we'll use it as like a drying rack yeah i don't know if it's a necessity i know people like some people boil their bottles and nipples i just like how it looks too and then the last thing obviously diapers wipes um just one tidbit about the diapers you probably don't need a lot of newborn diapers unless your baby is tiny she grew out of them or like we switched her to ones after a week and so we have like an extra pack of newborn diapers and we got two of them from the hospital so you might not even have to buy it i requested a lot of ones and twos during like my shower or you know when i'm requesting gifts so that i don't have like a specific brand that i love or that i'm loyal to we like huggy diapers and i want to try the water wipes so i might try that next one other thing when it comes to the diapers and wipes we found having one of those wipe cases with the weighted plastic thing on top super helpful um, instead of like opening the wipes and then having to get back and you know struggling to take the wipes out if you have the plastic container it's easy to open you just click it open and then because of the weighted plastic part on top you just it's easy to, to pull out the wipes so we have two or three in our house and then we've got our moms one of those because they're helping with the babysitting anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your newborn must-haves are and what other content you would like to see i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>